What's up, Tarnish? This is your ball, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about stats and exactly how stats work, and what to put where, and like just just stuff to help you out, bro. Basically, um, with stats and not to waste your stat points, and just you know really break it down to you. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Always and forever, subscribe. Um, because you know, with us, it's always and forever. All right. Um, but yeah. Get straight into it so with stats so you see something this is something i see a lot of people doing like with anti-magic so when you have anti-magic right if the stats are based off a of strength that's just the magic that the stat is based off blah, blah, based off of sword is separate sword is separate from um any like stat so like so say if i had anti-magic right now and i put in strength you do not need no sword so it, putting stats into sword doesn't increase your anti-magic damage overall how much stats you have into strength that's that's it that's it there's there's no and it works the same way for magic if the only reason why i have stats into sword is because i have um what's the sword called there we, i have this sword right here i have the imperial sword so the imperial sword requires me to have stats into my sword and also mana so that's why i have a decent mana and then i have this whole magic build right here you know so i mean my, my build will probably work better with my but from what I heard though is there's a bug going around with the with the swapping. Hold on. Man. Every time I try flying, bro, it doesn't like it be bugging sometimes. But yeah. So it works the same way. So for people that have like magics that have swords or anything, like say for the sword magic, you do not need to put in sword stats thinking that it's gonna increase that. It doesn't increase it, bro. It doesn't change anything. You can create a build. The build that I'm running, which is you know, the Imperial Sword, which is a, a sword that you can acquire from getting i don't know getting it with robux that's the only way you can get that sword so best of luck to y'all and you know your parents money but or if y'all have your own money my fault i apologize um but yeah wait 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 first thing what was we going after oh yeah my grimoire no 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 my my yeah my grimoire where is he at where is he at he over there all right but yeah so this is the build that i'm currently running right now I'm running 500 magic, 500 sword, and like I said again, I have it in sword because I want my sword to do a decent amount of damage, almost as much as my magic, so I can you know have more skills to use. So now, if you have like a sword like the Imperial Sword, you know I would say do that. But if you have like the Cypher or something, the Cypher doesn't like it's not too crazy, and, like it doesn't do nothing too crazy for you to be putting that much stats into it. You know what I'm saying? I'd do like 300 max, like 300 um, stat points max on that. That's what I would do, but you know you can change that up because honestly, you probably just when it because when you hit people with that move you stun them they can't move but from what i heard is oh look i can swap so what are you about? I could, I could just click on it and swap nice all right so we got sword magic right now but yeah like me using th like this like what i have this sword right here so a lot of people think that in order for you to do like m1 damage with this no bro it doesn't work like it doesn't matter you don't have to have sword like you can remove your whole sword like like that whole entire thing bro and it would be all right it would be all right but yeah make sure i leave a like comment subscribe and for everybody that was confused about like should they have stats into sword to like because they have like a magic with sword no the magic stats work for magic like even the sword the, the sword is made out of magic so that stat is work um works with it and then if you want to like i said again if you want a little weapon like this you know to um you know to combo up with your magic you can do that also you know that's what i'm currently doing so you know i have a little hybrid build um weapon slash magic user but honestly i feel like somebody with um a full full stats into imperial sword imperial sword with full stats into mana and whatever little magic that they have on the side they could honestly probably do some 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 decent damage i'm not gonna lie like they could be they could be a real problem they could be a real problem because if you just don't run magic at all or strength you just go straight to sword and that you could be you could be a real problem i think they should do that though i think they should allow some people to like you know learn um canon the game and stuff like that you know something something to like make you be able to just not win a grimoire 
put your grimoire aside and just want to fight with a sword. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, some diversity. You don't have to be a magic user. You can just be a straight up weapon, you know, with just magic skills. And another thing, devs, please add some dungeons, some raids, something. And you feel me? You can add your your um, your game passes. I'll, 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 I'll buy all of them, you know, to showcase them, obviously. Just, I, yeah, some, some more content so I can go live on the game, all right? Like, I'm talking about dungeons, raids. Let me, let me know how many of y'all would um, enjoy to have, like, raids and stuff. Like, comment it down below, because I feel like the devs watch this, um, these videos also. Because they're getting a lot of information um, from y'all and how y'all feel in these videos. So, you know, comment down below how you feel exactly. If y'all would like dungeons, if y'all would like more raids, um, if y'all would like stats to be um, differently. Would y'all like um, grimoires to have rarities? Like, they should be a four-leaf grimoire, uh, um a three leaf grimoire if you're a demon like this should be pacific like each grimoire you have is a five leaf you think if you're like the demon race each grimoire you have should be like a five leaf and have like a different like type of mode i think that would be fire i think that would be fire and devs if y'all hearing that bro this 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 would honestly be cooking if you d did take that idea since you're the, a part of the demon race each grimoire that you own will you know be um a part of that and y'all can also use daniel for devil devil union so basically just giving half of your stats to another player if y'all can you know conjure that up that would also be good all right but yeah make sure i leave a like comment subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one and let me know what y'all think about my ideas all right and like i like to say brush your head take care